let's talk about the best sites to sell art online. Now, in this space of websites to sell art online, there are two types of websites. One that is going to be very good for you. A website that will do a lot of positive things for you and you should interact with those websites. The other type of website, the second one, these are, I wouldn't say scam websites, but at least websites that are really, really bad. And we will list those websites as well so that you can be aware of those because those will not be the best place for you to sell art online. Now, should you be afraid of being scammed? No, the best of us get scammed. You know, the best of us get scammed. This game is an entrepreneurial game where people will screw you over. That's just the way it is. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Like when I'm thinking about people falling for illusions, I always think about Rembrandt, one of the best artists who ever lived. His students would paint money on the floor and then they would wait before Rembrandt would walk by and try to pick it up and then they would laugh with him. You know, they would laugh with him. Some people say he was very greedy and that's why they do that. Some people say there are a lot of theories why the students were doing that. But anyway, the best of us who train their eye can still be tricked by the thing that they're an expert at. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't be afraid of being scammed. Be aware of all the possibilities that that people are using to, to scam artists. So let's dive into this video. The first website is a website that I would say, with all due respect, I will also just name them. If, if like, I will just name them, you know? Um, but the first website is not a website that I would choose. It's a website called and on this website, you can put your art. And that will cost you 60, 60 euro or $60, I don't know, per artwork to put your art on this website. And then some people will probably see your art. If you want your art to be featured on this website, then you will pay extra fees. They will in return not take any commission on your sales, not take any commission. Okay, if there's an online art gallery, if there's an art gallery that will not take commissions on selling your art, then they will not sell your art. Okay, that's just the way it is. They will not do that. They will not have any incentives to do that. And they will not benefit from doing that. And because of that, they will just simply not do that. If you see something like this, it's a red flag. I'm sorry, but you're not helping artists out. You're just simply not doing that. And so this is, I'm very sorry to say that, but it's just, it just, it's just not okay. It's just not an okay website. And, and $60 for, like, let's say you can post, let's say you post 10 pieces, that, that's gonna be $600 that you will have to pay. The amount of traffic that they will generate for you in a year is gonna be peanuts. In the screenshots that you see now on the screen, you see that I generate 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 views for one post on social media, which is free. I get a thousand comments or a thousand five hundred comments or whatever, or, or five thousand likes, whatever, you know, like for free. You know, these websites, these social media pages, you can post art there for free, not sixty dollars for free. And and you will generate a lot of, of views and then you can discuss, yeah, but those views are different. It's less targeted, it's less, yeah, of course. But you don't have to post one image. You can post a thousand images, a thousand images, 5,000 likes multiplied by a thousand images. That, that's a lot of people that are aware of your art, you know, like just please, any gallery for the rest of your life that does not take commission on your art, on selling your art, don't go for that. Just walk out the door. Now in this video, we will not be talking about social media that much. We will not be talking about how to generate sales through social media, which is a great way. If you need help with that, you can always contact me. You can just write me a message on, on Facebook or Instagram, whatever, you know, like just write me a message, an email, a letter to my house, whatever you prefer. Hey Dries, I need help doing this. Boom, and I will help you. Um, but, but on this, in this video, we'll be talking about websites to post some ty types of online galleries, if you want, where you can post your art. Then there are also sites where you will pay a monthly fee to put your art on. Now, these sites, like, in essence, they will probably do something good, something whatever, you know, but, but 
I would not go for those sites. Why? Because there are so many alternatives where you can post your art for free. That and that that you should not be going for monthly fees uh, to put your art in some on some place, you know. And these sites are websites that provide a place for you to have a website on their website, you know. Like that's cool. But we live in the 21st century. There, there is WordPress. You know, there is Wix. There, there are these types of things that you could be using if you want your own website online. Like that's, that's just the way it is. Plus, you're gonna, you're the one driving traffic there to their website and stuff like that. I would not recommend any of those things. There's one called Gallery, whatever. Like that's that's a cool name for something like that. And. I'd, there are probably others like that. It's, I would not recommend any of those types of websites, but this is enough negativity. I hate negativity. It's just something that is like you have to be aware of what's, what is out there, you know? And so let's talk about positive. Let's talk about websites that you could actually be using that are going to be very beneficial for you. The best sites for you to sell art online are going to be Artpal, Singular, Sachi Art, Art Please. Art Finder, Art Grid, Turning Art. Um, underneath the, the video, there's a description, and, and you will have all of them there listed. And and you, we will now cover like just talk a little bit about a few some of them so that you can kind of indie walls is another one that's kind of cool depending on what you're searching for. Art, please, if I didn't already said that one. Like there's there there's a lot out there and it's constantly changing because the online art art market is booming. You know, like so let's list some of the best sites to sell art online. Now, if you're an emerging artist, a beginning artist, something like that, then you want to go for a particular type of site. Saatchi Art, um, Art Finder, Art Grid, Art Pal, uh, sites like that, because they welcome new artists and they welcome, they, they, don't, they are not too picky and too hard to enter. And so those sites will be very good for you now. Some of them will be better than others. I'm not going to go too deep and into the different business models and tactics and different opportunities on each of those those sites. I have another video on that where I go deep into the business models and tactics that, that you could be using. It's called best place to sell art online. Finally sell your art online, something like that. But you have to understand one thing. For 99.9% of you artists, you are going to be the one that is generating traffic towards their website. They are not going to sell art for you. They, they commission, sure, but they're only going to promote you on their website when you have made a lot of sales on their website, when they have benefited from that, and then they start featuring you. And so you will be the one driving traffic at first. If you can't do that, then you will have to go for alternatives. Otherwise, you're going to be one of those many artists, tens of thousands of artists on those websites that don't sell anything on those sites. And so you have to be very conscious about that. Uh, another site to sell art online that I've mentioned was Indie Walls. Indie Walls is very interesting because it's it's completely different. It, it tackles the market in a completely different way where they try to allow businesses to have particular projects that then artists can apply for with proposals to that project to paint their walls or, or have some kind of event that they they like help in or, or whatever, you know, like, so, so that's a very interesting way. If you're a mural, mural artist, if you're somebody who wants to do more event-based corporate type of stuff, that's going to be an, an interesting website because, because obviously the website tackles those things logically and so that's interesting for me i'm not thinking about that but for somebody who wants to do murals for for businesses that's ideal you know or some kind of performance artist you can you can for performance artists that's going to be one of the few websites that you can use if you have cool performances participatory or, or, or otherwise there will be events posted on there that you can yeah you can you can just contact them and you don't even have to use the website itself only you can also just see all the projects and then figure it figure their contact information out and just just call hey i see that you're searching for mural blah 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 blah. but i am a starting performance artist and i could etc 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 for your event stuff like that there's a lot of possibility there then there are art websites that are harder to enter talking about singular art, art spur um, sites like that those sites are not for amateurs. They are for established artists that have a long career, a lot of sales and, and, and go for higher prices. These are high-end online places that didn't 
as long as I know we're not really um, that well known just just not too long ago they, they are fairly recent we didn't have a lot of those places online that that were aiming towards um, established artists uh, 10 years ago or something you know like like and there were places for artists like us. Then there are two more websites to sell art online that I want to mention. Art Please, because it's a very interesting concept where it aims towards providing a marketplace where collectors can buy and sell work. And so this is a very interesting way. Um, strange. It's a particular um, thing that, that's, that I think is very hard to tackle in an online environment, but, but very interesting. And probably pretty promising towards the future depending on who's running that and who is actually creating those sites and there's another one turning art that is an art rental service there are m multiple of those types of art rental services out there that's really really interesting as well because that is again tackling the online art market in a completely different angle i have a full video on art rental services that you could check out it's listed in whatever uh, thing that that you see now and and that's really that's just a really, really interesting way. It's a lot of opportunities, opportunities, opportunities for artists right there. And now if you want to go deeper into tactics, business tactics on how to, what to do on those sites to increase your chances of selling art online, then, then you should check out the video, best place to sell art online. It's, it's a video where I go much more deeper into those concepts and also into the concepts about, about building your own website if you would want to do that. And so that's going to be a very powerful video to watch after this video if you want to go further and, and for the rest, you should just subscribe because just channel this channel is all about helping new artists and collectors out with all manners around the business side of the arts. And my name is Dries Ketels. If you didn't already knew that, now you do. And um, see you around sometime, you know. Ciao, ciao.